There's a battle going on on Cincinnati's east side. It's over a bunch of big old houses. The people there say charm is being bulldozed. And even though they've lost a couple of those homes, they've saved others. As Local 12's Brad Underwood tells us, they aren't done yet. All that's left at 1421 Herschel Avenue in Mount Lookout are some piles of dirt and orange construction fencing. The home was torn down in June, soon to come five much smaller homes. Buying up property in hopes of subdividing the land is becoming a popular real estate concept in certain Cincinnati neighborhoods, but it's not happening without a fight. And we are going to fight and I think it's getting people's attention and that's what we want and if we could come together as a community and a city and you know, stop these people from tearing down our history. Christy Verticchio started an online petition and got neighbors involved. They weren't able to stop the demolition on Herschel, but that was just one small battle in a much larger war. They've won twice since then. They saved a home in Hyde Park in May and a piece of land in Mount Lookout in June. There, developers were trying to build a house on a small lot between two homes. We were able to win that and as of now there's not going to be a home put on it so that's a big victory and we're still fighting. And then the new fight. This home on Walsh Road built in 1927 has nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms and just over an acre of land. It's been purchased by Bronzy Design and Build. The plan is to divide the land and build two homes. It's really sad to watch and we drive through these neighborhoods and take them for granted every day and the old trees and the beautiful um, setting that we live in and it's sad to see it go. For now, the Walsh home is still standing and still for sale. In Hyde Park, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Developers and real estate companies would not comment on the homes when we first told you this story back in April. They again declined to comment.